Okay, this is what happens when you get a wife who takes up Warlord and has 300 orcs and says, I need them yesterday. You have to learn to paint very, very quickly. And I've done so far a couple hundred for her. And she was talking one day about seven minute cake frosting. And I said, heck, a person can make a cake frosting in seven minutes. You gotta be able to make a paint or work in seven minutes. So she said, put up or shut up. And in 28 minutes, I handed her four painted orcs. And she said, that was a fluke. So she handed me five of them. In 37 minutes, I handed her five painted orcs. So good for me. She now has enough orcs. She can run my mercenaries right off the board whenever she wants to. clear <laughs> um, I don't recommend speed painting for everybody. Some people have actual skills and can display them. I'm a toy maker. When I was a kid, I used to buy the old Marks, hand painted by an artist, uh, toy soldier sets. And they were basically spray painted in a blob of flesh tone, a blob of boot color, and a blob of most of our feet, whatever that's what they're meant for. We do demos and we have everybody from adults who paint their own figures and paint them very well to five and six year old kids playing with them. You know, you'd hate to put a 200 hour figure on the board and see somebody drop it to the concrete. These, it's not really that big a tragedy. We're just taking, send them back to the body shop again. Reaper Metallics, by the way, give very, very nice one coat coverage. Even over a very fresh primer. These I'm not thinning a lot. Another reason some of the primer is a little thin. I tend to be pretty heavy handed prime of mine. <coughs> The armor on this one I used pewter. I usually use uh, steel plate and then go with the uh, true silver for the highlight. I have really liked what I've seen. Uh, my friend Umbleff has painted his dwarfs in pewter, and I like what it does on the chainmail. So I'm going to try that, and then put a, I'm going to put a wash of black over it right at the last minute. Missing. I usually they usually have a warlord base on that I hang on to. I forgot to glue my base. <laughs> yeah. Ghoul gray is our friend. It is a color that is great for highlighting a lot of your greens. It looks good on grass and turf. You heard the story about H red brick is a very nice color for base coating leather. It gives kind of an ox blood quarter in the look.
I'm decided not to see what she said. Working on an unfamiliar table. Too. Yeah, so well, don't don't let that um, affect your quality. Quality is not an issue here. <laughs> this is when we go with the old uh, the old saying, "Quantity has a quality all its own." <laughs> when we did our uh, January. Mini Reaper Con Southeast. I don't think that's a copyrighted term, Mini Reaper Con Southeast. We did a 10,000 point uh, orc versus the world battle using DHA and Warlord orcs. Basically, every orc we could get our hands on. And we fielded 300 orcs, and I had to paint about 100 of them in the two weeks before the event. So, here's where we are so far. Let's see if we can get him. And I want to do a little bit more strap work yeah. on his wrist. But it's one of the fun things when you're putting out demo games. So many people are running games with unpainted figures when you have a table full of painted ones. And kids walk up, you know, people don't touch it, don't touch it. And I say, oh no, this is there for them to play with. They really get excited. And I think back when I was that age, you know, the effect it would have had on me, it just, it's, it's a lot of fun to get new people involved in it. So your table's new, my tripod's stiff, we're even. Yeah, perfect. It is. Yeah, let's get a good close up. Say R. R. Okay. 